Da -na 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 -na. Oh yeah, we're back. That's right. You can't keep me away for too long. <laughs> I'll always come crawling back to you, Kirkbride and Todd. You're just too damn good looking, and you made too many good damn games. All right, back with Morrowind after a nice long break uh, for a multitude of reasons. New PC, you know, a couple family things going on, a couple weeks off uh, traveling around. But that all changes because today we're hopping back into the Elder Scrolls 3. We're getting back in the saddle. And we are playtesting today. It's going to be a chill stream. Nothing too crazy. Nothing, you know, no mods. As, as you saw at the opening there, there was no load button. This is a brand new, fresh install of Morrowind on my brand new computer. Um, so there, there are no mods. This is all natural. And... All natural means it is the perfect setting uh, to play test for a how-to video because I always do keep those as vanilla friendly as humanly possible. Um, and I've been uh, working on the hand-to-hand -hand video, so we're going to be doing a little testing here. You know, a little, a little screwing around. Nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. Let's hop into it. And this is going to be. We need to think. Uh, I so the way I'm taking this. All right, the way I'm taking this. This isn't going to be like. Uh, you know, a roadhouse kind of brawler. All right, no, this is going to be something more exciting because Marwin has too many cool systems to just limit myself to, like, a boxer. Like, how many Muhammad Ali builds have you seen? All right, no, 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 no. The magic system in Marwin is too fun to ignore. And I would, I, I'm taking hand-to-hand -hand with a little bit of liberty uh, uh, for this, this play testing and, and the coming video. Um, and I'm going for more of like a monk style because hand to hand, in case you have never played it before, is not super viable uh, in, in and of itself uh, alone. It, it, you can make it work, but it's it's not very fun. You know what I mean? It doesn't have that oomph that a lot of the other systems in Morrowind have. So, like I said, we'll be going monk. Uh, I'll talk through character creation a little bit. Not gonna, you know. I'm not going to do too much here because we're still playtesting. I still want to save a lot of the meat uh, for, the, for that how-to video um, when that does come out. But because I said we're going for a monk, I think monk, I think Shaolin Soccer, the movie, because I am a, a child. And so I need something that sounds Shaolin or like monkish. So what sounds Shaolin? Because as I say in every single one of my how-to videos, 90% of the character's power. 95% of the character's power comes from the name. So you gotta have a good name. Um, so you could do like uh, 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 Shelby the Shaolin Monk. That could be good. It's not quite fantasy enough though. What about uh, Shania? <laughs> Shania the, the Shaolin Monk? <laughs> Shania's got a little fantasy twinge. You know, Sharnathan. Shout out to the D&D &D movie. Um, Shania. Damn, now, okay. Now I've said the word, and now the word is stuck in my brain. So we're going to go with Shania. Shin, how do you spell Shania? Is it S-H-E-N-I-A? Shania? Shania? Hold on. Shania. I'm just going to capitalize the I. There we go. Shania. Oh, 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 hold on. No, hold on. Now we're really fantasy. We add the hyphens in. Okay. Shania. A-H. Shania, the Shaolin. There we go. Now we're fantasy. We added hyphens in. We got a capitalized letter in the middle of the word. Now we are freaking, now we're freaking fantasy. We're actually halfway to prog metal. If I put in some colons here and named this Shania Part 2, this would just be a prog rock album, actually. Um, but let's just get rid of that. This is not the prog character. This is uh, the fantasy character, Shania. Oh, my God, it's Bubble Rap. Hello, Bubble Rap. Late night Jeb Sesh. Yeah, look at him there. Look at him there. He looks like he's been up for like five centuries, the way his texture is stretched. That man needs some moisturizer. <laughs> the Pog character, actually, absolutely. Shania, the fantasy prog rock star. Not even last night <laughs> I, heard them I hope you've been well, Bubble Wrap. Thanks sure for stopping by on this late night impromptu random Morrowind session. Quiet. Here comes the guard. I was this like... 
I, I got a, you know, I'm working on the how, the how to hand to hand video, and I was like, you know what? I remember in the last stream that I did, people wanted to see some play testing, so I'll just do some like random stuff here. Fantastic lately, hope the same for you. Well, it's fantastic to be back. How about that? How about that? It's good to be it's good to be back in front of the camera. All right. Get you a cell and uh, and look at this. This is bubble wrap. I don't know if you've seen this yet from me. This is an this is a freshly vanilla install, no mods. This is this is really uncut, wind. untethered Morrowind. You finally arrive. I hope you have a high tolerance because if you don't, this this may knock you back in your chair. <laughs> My favorite. I know. I was. Uh, well, all okay, right. All jokes aside, I was gonna do. I was going to do a mod stream, uh, but I got a new computer. I haven't migrated all the files yet. But the um, the uh, the other rig that is still sitting over there, its power supply died, literally right before stream. Like officially died. Like it was already on its way out, but the computer wouldn't turn on. So, so now we're doing the un unmodded. <laughs> Unmodded stream. Oh, wow, vanilla. Oh, classic, dude. Classic, classic. Oh, my lord of mercy. Justin Trudeau himself. Shadowstorm, welcome back to stream. I know, that's rough. I was like, now we got to think on the fly. What the hell do I do? Uh, Yeah, playtest. I, I was like, I'm going to film it anyway, so. Snap, I know, I know. Good thing I had the new computer, right? But anyways, for hand-to-hand, -hand, I'm going with a, uh, uh, a shower. I'm going with a, a female Argonian because female Argonians actually have a really good stat setup for a hybrid caster kind of role. And then they get the boost to unarmored mysticism, which I do want, illusion, which I want, athletics. Got to be really quick if you're punching people. And uh, alchemy is busted, so you got to have that. And water breathing's nice, too. How's it going? It is a, a beautiful night here in Vardenfell. I cannot complain. I hope you're doing well up in the Great White North. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I All saw I saw your post on Twitter. You were looking for some logo design. Are we getting the Shadow Storm? Are we, are we running it back? Get the, get the Shadow Storm resurgence? <laughs> Pee, sweet. Yeah. Argonian equals sweat. Ooh, competitive team for MK12. Uh, yes, nice. We've been That's awesome. You. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways that is awesome. I'm planning on, uh, not because I'm a Mortal Kombat player, but because I grew up being a nerd, planning on doing, like, a joint costume for a party with, with a friend of mine, and we were going to go as MK1 Scorpion and Sub-Zero because the costumes are just, like, pieces of cloth that are colored, and then you just put a belt around yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure how that ties in, but I, I just wanted to share that with you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I said I am Shania, the Shaolin monk. And we are going to be taking magic as our specialization today because we don't get enough good stuff from stealth. All right. Stealth has hand-to-hand, -hand, but that's it. Uh, and acrobatics, but we're not, you know, we're, we're trying to do the magical mix, and the magic is going to be harder than the punching because punching we can just train with Caius, and and you know we'll get a nice, uh, a nice base going pretty quickly. And I'm going to take agility as a major, and then I think I'm going to go willpower for that additional spell casting. We need picks after, yeah, yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to post it. Now nah, it's, 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 uh, it's gonna be in uh, like a month or so. So we got, we got plenty of time. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share after. Mar Mortal Kombat and Marwind are both games. Galaxy Brain, Bubble Wrap over here. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact: they're both games. Coffee. You are not an idiot. At least not today. All right, we're uh, Argonian Ninja. That's kind of what we're doing, right? That's a little bit like what we're doing right now. Hand-to-hand, -hand, unarmored, mysticism, illusion, restoration. And then for miners, we'll be taking, uh, let me 
think. Athletics. Think in acrobatics. Hold on, I had a build list over here. Let me let me pull that up real quick. Uh, Cause I had what I wanted to test out for the video. What do we got going on here? Load. Uh, sneak. Yes, sneak. Because we'll need to get away from people. Because we're going to have no armor. That is correct. I forgot about that. And then, um, let's see. Alteration. Can't leave alteration. Very monkish. Alteration is super monkish. Like, jumping really far. Like, you know, that's like the that's like the dragon kick, you know, like freaking, uh, you know, uh, from Mortal Kombat. What's the guy's name? Oh, my gosh. I'm blanking. He has the headband and the red pants. He does like the kick. He like flies across the screen. God, it's been a minute. Liu Kang. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I promise I played Mortal Kombat. It's just been a minute. I even had. Fun fact, here, here's a little here's a little coffee nut trivia. I had all the original Mortal Kombat movies on DVD back in the early 2000s. Um, and we bought them at this like thrift store that was across from my old high school. And it was the shittiest thrift store in the world. It was like run by some church that clearly like didn't give it funding. Um, so it just looked like crap. But I used to go there all the time, and, and I would just buy, like, random DVDs. And they had the whole stack of, like, the first three original Mortal Kombats. <laughs> and I had all those things on DVD, man. I loved that crap. That, that was, that was hey, you could find some good stuff over there. And I, and I was, like, the cringy, like, 15-year-old who, and I bought a Walkman, like a literal cassette player. And I had, I, it was hysterical because I had Apple earbuds plugged into the freaking cassette player. And I was listening to like Armored Saint and like Keel and like all these like old school metal band cassettes that I'd find at thr this thrift store for like a nickel. Uh, do I still have them? Yeah, they're around somewhere. Not not at hand. I don't have them immediately, but I'm, I'm sure I could find them if I looked hard enough. They're probably up in my closet. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it was uh <laughs> I looked really cool <laughs> to myself <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> Everybody else has an iPod and I'm like, <laughs> ever heard of a cassette player? Yeah. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain Hey, there's time. still the days, bubble wrap. What That's what I'm saying. Be? Yep, exactly. There's nothing stopping me from doing it now, except for convenience, because I, you know, just have YouTube music on my phone. <laughs> All right, and we're going to go with the lover to get the agility, because we have to have agility to land our hits with hand-to-hand, because -hand, we have to land a million of them. And also the paralyze with the hand-to-hand. -hand. Um, you need the disengage, which is almost why I went Khajiit. I may do Khajiit still. Haven't decided yet. Oh man, a bot already. Look at that. How fantastic. Goodbye. <laughs> man, we've really made it, guys. The bot, we already got a bot. We're, we just started stream. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shania. Fantasy, fantasy spelling of Shania. Shania, the female Argonian Shaolin monk, born under the sign of the lover. We got 75 agility kick and 50 intelligence, 50 willpower. Not bad stats. The only thing that's going to hurt is that 30 endurance because our health pool is going to be the size of, like, an infantile muskrat. Like, it's going to be, like, nothing. I don't know why that's where my brain went, but... There you have it. It's that dirty, dirty South talking again. Show your All right. To the when you Them damn muskrats getting everywhere. Oh, my God. Bubble wrap. That'd be so hard. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Hold on. If you could get... 
Yeah, you did. Okay, you did it on your last. But if you get a high enough armor rating, you get good enough sanctuary, you get all your spell absorption and reflect. You could pull it off. You still haven't played ball. Oh, you're missing out. You need a. You need to have a lot to. Uh, you need to have a lot of time to spin this one up, Shadow. That's the only thing. It's uh It's not a very base level game. It's pretty in depth. Um, but it is certainly worth the adventure. Hard to beat. Alright, let's steal all this stuff. Steal all the bottles. Do our best frat boy impression. Look, mom's gone. Mom, We locked mom out. We're raiding the liquor cabinet. Got all the plates. All the goblets. All the glasses. Even taking the candlesticks. We gotta throw a party. I've seen Project X. I know how the hip youngsters do it. Alright. Apprentice lockpick. Alright, let's see if this uh let's see if this Argonian's got the juice. Let's see. One, two. First try. Look at that. Okay. Thirty one smackers. Morrowind and dwarf, dwarf uh pff. I would I would bet uh Dwarf Fortress, to be completely honest. I haven't I haven't put the time in Dwarf Fortress yet, but I really want to. But every time I look at it, I'm so scared. <laughs> Tic tac toe. That's right. Name the three most obscure and hard-to-play games. Put uh, Europa Universalis on that list, too. Hell, put a fighting game on that list. Th those hey, let's, let's not take away from what sh from, from uh, the, the time. That's actually the hardest shit to me, freaking um, fighting games. Because you actually have to, like, have skill, right? You can't just rely on a, on a wiki <laughs> or, like, some obscure forum, you know? Fighting games are hard as crap. I tried to get into Blaz Blue because it was on a it was on sale on Steam like uh, one of the last couple sales, and I loved Guilty Gear, so I was like, yeah, I'll try out Blaz Blue, and then I just like just got dumpstered repeatedly, and I was like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna go back to my uh, single player RPGs. <laughs> Crusader Kings 2? Yeah, that's another one that's, uh... Let's hear it. All those, if like, kingdom help, builders are so hard. Too much time. Yeah, exactly. Dude, even with, uh... Even with, like, Elden Ring and stuff, you know? Even with Dark Souls, like... Y y you gotta learn the... Like you said, like the frames, you know? You gotta learn your iframes and how far you can push it on certain stuff. I, I went... I went back to Elden Ring after taking a long time off, and, um, yeah, I was, like, I was just getting freaking dumpstered, man. I, I quit playing. <laughs> I was, like, I was, like, I need a break. Like, I need a, I need a day to come back to this. Today is not that day. That was, that was a couple weeks ago. Nice. Hell yeah. I re I respect the I respect the dwarf fortress grind. I really need to do it because it looks like such an amazing game. I have nothing bad to say about dwarf fortress based on everything I've seen. It looks phenomenal. Let's see. Do I want any of this scroll of vigor? Is any of this gonna help me with my hand to handing? Hold on. Y'all get to just watch me uh, think through these things because. This is this is what I do when I'm planning my how to's. Uh unhinging maybe. Uh I'm not gonna grab that yet. I will grab the one arm CV. How are you? Lol, right? Yeah, I, I I, I know many people. Like, they're certainly not for everybody, and that is no knock on uh, on anyone. What assistance do you need? You know what? I may go try to do the. I may try to go get the mentor's ring right now. Let's see if we can do that because we do have uh, 
My fists count as a special weapon, so I can technically punch the ghosts in the tomb. It's just, can I live through them? I don't really know, so we're going to find out. But that is what playtesting is for. Hand-to-hand -hand is horrible, by the way. I don't... Bubble wrap, I don't know if you've ever tried it, or if anyone has ever tried it. It's It's brutal. What you drink in a sidecar? I am a big fan of the sidecars, but no, this is, uh, it, it was bourbon with a lot of ice in it, and now the ice has melted, and now it's, like, mainly water. Uh, because I was fighting against my other computer, <laughs> and that took, like, 20 minutes, and now all the ice has melted, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's just really sad bourbon. <laughs> Bourbon water, exactly. Exactly. Second only to bourbon chicken. All right, one of the delicacies of the South. Okay, let's see how this goes. This is probably going to be really bad. Let's grab a quick save. Quit walking, or quit running. Uh. Rum water, hey, don't slap... Okay, don't hate on Grog. When I was a, when I was a broke college student... Grog was a go-to. <laughs> Grog, by the way, is just rum and water. Uh, fun fact. That's what that word means. And uh, let me tell you. Drank some Grog back in the day. Because, <laughs> hey, when you don't have any, you know, when you don't have any mixers, you just got to make it work. All right. Now, now, we're, now we're pod racing. Okay. All right, I hope y'all brought drinks, you know, maybe a couple other, uh, put on the final four or something to watch while we pluck away at this ghost. <laughs> okay, the, th the thing is they're not doing a lot of damage, which is nice. And I do have hearth heal because I took, uh... Took resto. Raise the roof. The roof is on fire. Okay, we're landing some hits now. Come on, Shania. Let's go, Shania. How much fatigue can a ghost have? You don't even have bones. You don't even have lungs. How is your cardio so good? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hand to hand to 31. There we go. Okay. Come on. You can do it. All right. How much fatigue can one ghost have? Hold on. Let's uh heal. Oh, I just double casted that. Let's not do that. Only 69 to go. That's right. Hand-to-hand -hand is, like, only good once it gets to, like, 80. It's, like, one of the only skills in Morrowind where the damage scales off of the level, which is just ridiculous. Okay, we're going to just start spamming. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this guy down. Also, how are the audio levels? Because, like I said, this is a new computer. I was trying to set this all up right beforehand. Because I didn't plan to use this computer to stream tonight. Uh, until the power supply exploded and now that one won't turn on. We're good, okay? Voice is good. Alright. Because ha half the time I look back and I'm like, man, the volume on the game was like way too loud or something. That's good to know. Okay, how is this guy not down yet? Oh, yeah, hand-to-hand -hand is very easy to level. That's the only good thing about hand-to-hand, -hand, is it is super, super easy to level. Like, every level feels tiny with hand-to-hand, -hand, but the problem is hand-to-hand -hand is just bad. 
<laughs> it's just it's just objectively bad. <laughs> Eight out of ten coffee's voice. Uh, hey, there we go. Thank you, Shadow. We we know what brings the people back. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you take restoration when you play hand-to-hand, -hand, because there's no way you're going to ever live through anything at the beginning. <laughs> I feel like I'm just power leveling. Like, I'm not even fighting an enemy. I'm just, I'm literally just power leveling hand-to-hand. -hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Now, hold on. I'm just going to see how fast I can click my mouse. Is it invincible? No, Shadow. Hand-to-hand -hand is terrible. Because in Morrowind, when you're playing with hand-to-hand, -hand, every enemy has two health bars. Okay, so here, this is what I'm saying. Every enemy has two health bars. They have a fatigue bar that you have to fight, and then once you kill their fatigue, then you start dealing health damage. So if you look right now, there's a little... Uh, now we're dealing health damage. He's staggering. You know, you see some particles... The yellow bar on the bottom left is dying. That's the problem with hand-to-hand. -hand. <laughs> Every enemy has two health bars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're cooking. <laughs> Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. All right. Now once we get now we just need to get hand to hand to 100 and, you know, the rest is easy, right? Uh you can't rest. Okay. Hold on. I do need a rest though cuz I have no magicka. Uh there we go. All right. Now there's going to be one more enemy in the other room typically. So uh we'll have to We'll have to struggle through them, and then we can get our mentor's ring. I mean, I could just grab it, but... Actually, I may just grab it, because then we can just go... What the hell? Did he did he come through the door? Hold on. Oh, he did. Holy shit. Okay. I may just try and... Oh, there's that 30 endurance. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that guy's going to kill us. All right. We need to get a lucky roll on the trap. All right. Lucky roll. And heal, heal, heal. Heal, heal. Okay, we're good. All right, we got the trap off. Now we can grab the ring. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> This is uh, pr uh, uh, one of the worst builds we could think of, actually. Hand-to-hand -hand is uh, not great, <laughs> as, as you saw. It, it does get better when you're at, like, level 80 hand-to-hand, -hand, level 90 hand-to-hand. -hand, but early game, yeah, it's really rough. It's really rough. Because, again, every enemy, when you play hand-to-hand -hand purely, every enemy has two health bars. Challenge runs, exactly. Exactly. I never under I never fully understood the did the they have two health bars thing, because I was like, if I'm in a if I'm in a street fight and I'm punching the guy, it's it's not like I don't start giving him concussions once he's on the floor. Like he's getting concussions the entire time, you know. <laughs> like he's 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 actively taking damage as I'm punching him. You know what I mean? <laughs> A old white wine. Here you go. Here, here. Cheers to that. Uh, we're going to grab all this to sell it. All right. Uh, let's head to Balmora and then start training for hand to hand. Cheers to you, Bubble Wrap. Cheers to you. Something's after me. I think it was a mud crab. 
so I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Back to my home, sweet home, old Balmora. I, I, I feel like that, you know, I, I just got a home over there. Oh, sweet grandmother spatula shadow. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You don't have to do that. Thank you. And cheers to you, Prime Minister. Uh, no, the ambassador. The ambassador to Canada. A much more important title, in my opinion. We make a special <laughs> just for you. Same low price. The ambassador. Why walk when here, you here. All right. Um hello fellow Argonian. Look at you. They let they let you free? What is what the hell? Man, you must be out on good uh, you good behavior. What home uh, bubble wrap. You you should you should know this by now, okay? What home do I take? <laughs> it's not even a home. <laughs> it is it is the basement of the fighters guild. <laughs> That's it. That's the only place I live. <laughs> I have done it for 20 years <laughs> at this point. Make it quick, <laughs> Literally. No, I'm such a... Uh, every time. Look, let me show you. This This is home sweet home, all right? Fighter skilled, baby. Speak, traveler. Here it is. They got me. They got my room. I need to put a mod with a little so name plate up that says, like, coffee's room or something. This room right here, baby. This is the pad. Look at that. You got room for the buddies, all right? You could fit four of you in here, you know? Right? You could hook your Game Boy Advances up with the link cable. Trade some chow in the Sonic Sonic Adventure, fucking whatever it is. Look how much room there is for activities, right? Over here, you could play some marbles on the, on the floor. <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you, you get what I'm saying. This is, this is the spot, right? <laughs> Very nice, thank you. Not actually not the halalu. <laughs> not the halalu. Uh I don't know, but again, bubble wrap, it's it's like uh it's a habit, honestly. It's a habit more than anything. Like I've just I've just done that since I was little, so I just always freaking do it. I don't know why. So what I just like going? autopilot over here. I guess I should join the fighters guild and then I can take their potions and stuff. Hold on. Uh, I need to talk to you. Guy, so if you could hurry oh down. my lord, it is don't cry. He of adventure, he of good fortune. Hey. Welcome back, don't cry. Thanks for stopping yes. in. Uh and whenever I find the time recently, Shadow. But we're get, we're trying to hop back on the trying to hop back in the saddle here now that we got a we got some more time and life. Good old marbles. Yeah. Marbles and crazy bones. Things that just destroyed your finger and really weren't that fun, but you had a bunch of them. The infinite storage corpse. <laughs> I I like to uh I like to just pile all my weapons on the beds. I don't know why. Again, I like I'm I'm just lame, I guess. I just sit there and I just lay out all the weapons on the bunk beds. I don't know. That's just that's just what I do. We do not question the things that we cannot change. Wait, what? No one knows about Crazy Bones? Come on. That's like saying Hot Wheels didn't exist, man. Crazy Bones were the rage. And they came they looked they had they looked like they had the uh it looked like a Crown Royal bag or something. It was like that purple bag, but it was Crazy Bones or the lunchbox. They had like the lunchboxes. All right, we can sell all this because we're wearing no... Actually, uh, I'll keep the extravagant robe because that could be enchanted. I'll sell the shoes because I can't wear it. And I'll... S I mean, I don't need the scrolls of carry in flight. That's a, that's a one-way trip. All right, that's a one-way trip. A trip I don't um, intend I'm to make. Waiting. Oh, my lord, it's the free man. 
with the people happy. Good to see you, free man. Welcome in. We're just uh, playtesting a little hand-to-hand -hand build here. You know, the most exciting stream I could ever I could ever possibly plan, right? Every fight lasts for five to eight minutes. <laughs> Probably die at some point. <laughs> Um, I really I'm, a, I'm unarmored. Why am I coming into the armor? All right. What I do need to do is probably buy some spells. Uh, what do we have? We have chameleon. Detect creature from our mysticism. Restoration. Hearth heal. Hearth heal coming from restoration is actually great. I never really realized how good that was until I sat back and thought about it. Because there are worse healing spells in Morrowind by a long shot. Dura Grabble's house. Ooh. Okay. Man of high class. Good taste. Good taste, that bubble wrap. All right, let's look through some of these. Uh, ooh, antidote. Cure poison on self. That is a easy grab. You cannot play this game without that. Gotta have a... Uh, gotta have a cure poison. Say your word. Excuse me. I need to have like a hot button to mute. <laughs> I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Living in the dead guy's house. Yeah, you know. It does wear on your psyche after a little bit. You do feel a little a little dirty, I guess. A uh, calm creature could be good to have. 30 points. Is that enough? That's actually a pretty good amount. 30 points is a lot. Oh, we need levitate, but levitate is so expensive early. Grab an open. I guess we need to think about things early that are going to, like, help with hand-to-hand. -hand. Like, calm could be good because it could get us out of touch, tough situations. We already have to paralyze. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Bound, bound. Uh, to me, that counts as armor, so I'm not going to wear any bound. Paralysis. It's only five seconds, but that does get us the spell, but we already have the Lover's Kiss, Poison. It didn't take Destruction, because that seems too easy. Another thing with this build is, like, I don't just want to take Destruction and then be like, oh, but I'm mainly using hand-to-hand, -hand because Destruction is so good, like... If you're just using destruction spells and then like barely, you know, bar like punching someone a few times, you're not really doing hand to hand. You're you're doing, you're doing a mage build that occasionally punches people, you know. So I didn't want to I didn't want to take that, but I felt like illusion, uh, mysticism, uh, alteration, like these these spells that accent hand to hand, that is acceptable, right? But not I felt like taking destruction while doing hand-to-hand -hand, it didn't you know like like you're just doing a mage at that point you're just doing a mage that punches people instead of like a monk or something that's how at least i looked at it i didn't take enchant so i don't need soul trap what am i looking for i know i need something let's go to sadrith mora I suppose it is my duty to help those less... Uh, the lady over there has good myself. conjuration. I can get absorb health. I'll, I'll get absorb health. Um, from the guy downstairs. Slow fall at that point. The funny thing, slow fall is more expensive than levitate. Killer and take her house with no bounty. There you go. That's that. That's what we call... Top tier thinking. That is galaxy brain, big brain time. All right, you know, you 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 chose the correct path. You got a free house out of it. You got to murder someone, and no one cared. Like th these are the these are the things that make life worth living in Morrowind. You know. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go do absorb. I think I'm going to I'm going to get absorb health. And then other One than that, above. nothing else here is really lighting my fire. The prey. I think I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to go do absorb health. 
<laughs> slug him so hard. Yeah, ac hey, you know, if, if I had taken enchanting, uh, it would definitely be a pickup, but I'm not doing any enchanting right now. Matthew, hello, how are you? Doing fan-freaking-tastic. Thank you for stopping by. I hope the same for you. We are doing some hand-to-hand -hand tomfoolery. Grabbing my divine intervention. Absorb health. What else do I want here? Uh, regenerate. Uh, no. See, there's so many, like, worse s restoration spells than hearth heal. Like, Bethesda really does set you up nicely when you take a lot of these major skills. You do get some pretty, generally, some pretty good spells out of them. I'm, I must say, I, I don't have much to complain about with a lot of these starter spells. Um, so what do you want? I mean, like, look at that. We got Absorb Health. Uh, we had Chameleon at the start. Detect Creature. Okay, Detect Creature, eh. I could, I could give or take that one. Hearth Heal. Hearth Heal's an incredible heal. Sanctuary is great early on. You know, you get a lot of good stuff. Hey, after nearly two decades, 100 mods. Has no Very nice. I am also usually with you in the A Million Mod Club, but uh, we are doing fresh 100% pure vanilla tonight. You have something to say for me? But usually I am along with you. I, I, run, a, I run a bajillion mods. Uh, but usually nothing like too game altering. I I, li I love graphics mods though. You like all the updates and stuff. Big fan of that. Faction members only. Okay. Well, how about I join? All right, Mage's Guild. Pure <laughs> pure vanilla. There you go. A man of a man a connoisseur, a man of refined taste. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Vanilla will always have a, a very soft spot in my heart. I, I do retract that, though. I'm not playing pure vanilla. I am playing open Morrowind, but I'm playing open Morrowind with no mods and no changes. This is just fresh install of open Morrowind, click start. Um, I just prefer the open Mar Like, the open Morrowind is so smooth. That's the only... It is, it is a little tough for me to go back to purely vanilla... Uh, just just because of how snappy open Morrowind is. It loads so quick. The frame rates are so nice. Open Morrowind is a reconstruction of the original Morrowind engine in is it Unity? I can't I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but it's a rebuild of the original Morrowind. With some slight changes, but mainly just changes that you'd find in, like, the Morrowind code patch or, you know, um, any of the other quote-unquote unofficial mods. So, it plays almost identical to vanilla, but it's it's snappier. It doesn't... It, I, it never crashes, um, at least for me. I've maybe had one crash, two crashes playing open Morrowind. It is... It is it's just awesome. I, I'm a huge fan. All right, we need a lot of freaking gold uh, to train unarmored, which is my next immediate step. Or I'm sorry, not unarmored, um, to train hand to hand. So we need 367. So we need to go make some money. That's correct. They did add in all the resolution options, so you can go widescreen, you can go ultra wide. Um, yeah, that that is big as well. Speak, traveler. Uh, your build. Oh, I totally missed it because I was looking at things. So int will sneak mystic enchant alt destruction short blade. Oh yeah. Uh, so s sneak myst mystic enchant alchemy destruction. You have destruction as a major, like as long as you have pretty much, pretty much every build is viable. As long as you have one damage source as a major and uh, you have an armor in there as a major and minor. Um, and then you have like, you have a lot of uh, skills that work really well together. So you have like mysticism that works well, you know, with your alchemy and your destruction because they play on similar attributes. Yeah, that's totally viable. Absolutely. The only things that like aren't 
quote unquote viable, like I said, is like when people uh, don't have like like they don't take like a damage skill. They don't have a combat skill or like a, a damaging magic skill uh, in their you know majors or something. Just because you're very underpowered early levels. Those are, those are like the only builds that are like truly unviable. If you're all just speechcraft and alchemy and like all this random stuff. Um, but even that's viable because if you just make a bunch of alchemy potions that put your strength to a hundred, like time is precious, so <laughs> make it quick. I guess it's how you approach the game that you know really really makes a build viable or not. But yeah, I I would totally think you could do well as a stealth mage. Go ahead. The only thing I would have changed about your build if you're going for stealth is illusion. Um, I would have put illusion somewhere in there uh, because illusion is chameleon invisibility. Uh, frenzy. There's a lot of really cool effects in Illusion, but once you get your int and willpower high enough, you'll be, you, you know, you'll be able to cast it just fine. Because um, really, putting your major and your minor, it, aside from leveling you up, it really just affects their starting values. So you can just power level Illusion once you get a lot of money and you're good to go. All right. Uh, I said I need to make money. So what's the best way to go about that? I can cheese. I can try and spawn Dark Brotherhood assassins and sell their armor. Um, I can't just start the Fighters Guild and try and make a couple honest bucks. I may do that, actually. Uh, go fight some rats. Try and get some easy hand-to-hand -hand levels. Honestly. You know what? I may do that, actually. Let's get some orders. Let's deal with the cave rats. Ye old classico. And uh, we can all marvel bleh, we can all marvel together at how, how bad early hand to hand is. <laughs> okay, yeah, and your build's not viable if you're trying to do hand to hand. <laughs> Cuz hand to hand is so hard <laughs> to make work, but when you pull it off, you do feel pretty good. Honestly. So let's go deal with some cave rats. Uh, is it that one? No, it's not. This is one over here. I wonder how many times I've killed these rats. Good old Drain Thelis. If you want to learn some cool trivia about Drain Thelis, check out my uh, Morrowind's most obscure quest video. Because uh, this, this lady's got a lot more going on than just cave rats. Time to get drunk and slap a rat. Sounds like a fantastic afternoon. Or evening. Day. Hell, I'd do that as soon as I woke up. That sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like a barbarian. That is a man's day. All right. There's someone watching me. Let's saddle up and slap a couple rats. Get over here, son. We're slapping rats today. Honey, I'm taking Johnny out of school. We're going to go slap some rats. Drink a little whiskey. <laughs> All right, here we... <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. All right, we got the hearth heal off. We got we we liked it so much we did it twice. Man, I actually may I may actually may have to pull out of the rat fight if I can't get him down because I ac I accidentally casted the hearth heal twice and needed to only do that once. Oh yeah 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 hold on. Uh, do I have a magic bot? I don't, and I wasn't even wearing my mentors. All right, well yep there we go. <laughs> that that's hand to hand. All right, let's go sleep and then come back. <laughs> That is hand to hand for you. Getting dumpstered by the rat at level one. Although we would have been fine if I didn't accidentally cast Hearthiel twice there. So what's this regard? The problem with hand to hand too is uh is so like let's look at uh so this is your spells out, right? So look at the hands. This is spells out, and that's fists out. They're only like slightly different. 
So if you're not used to doing hand to hand, you'll like accidentally double cast your spells like I did there. Surrender your life to me. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna reload. I'm I'm dead there. Easy dead. Okay. Let's go back. Rip exactly. Fists <laughs> fists out for Harambe. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. God, remember, that was a thing. Like, that was a huge cultural thing. How did we all forget about that? Yes, sir. It's amazing how quickly the, uh, what do you call it? The, the zeitgeist. What is it? Like, the public <laughs> just moves on from crap. Fists out for Harambe. Oh, my God. Shania slain, exactly. It was, it was big, but wasn't. You know what? I think, actually, Mr. T summed that up beautifully. It was everywhere, but it also was so, you know. It was also just Harambe, you know, like. That's right, that's right. It was everywhere, but it also wasn't. It was relevant, but it was not. It was only the memes. Man, look at this rat. This rat's putting out some freaking heat. He's throwing heaters, dude. It was kind of it kind of reminded me of like uh God, what was that other thing that went around? I'm trying to remember. There's been so many. What was like another example of like one of those kind of like silly fads that just Reddit just ran with? All right, okay, we're starting to fatigue him. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, here we go. Now we're pod racing. That's right. <laughs> Who's your daddy? I only had to heal once this time. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, Coney. That's what I was trying to think of. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. All right, claps out. Every kill with a hand-to-hand -hand build early is uh, is worth celebrating. Oh, hold on. The Cantatas of Vivek. Hey, now. The Cantatas. It's like the uh, the abridged Cantons, I guess. Everything Twitter flips out about. That is actually true. Yeah, that is true. What what doesn't the internet flip out about? That is that is true. Get clapped on, rat. You're it. Uh, it only. What the hell? Okay. All right. The real test. Oh, crap. I, again, with the punching. Can we can we beat a, a Dark Brotherhood to <laughs> assassin to death and drain Thelus's bedroom? Let's find out. If I had more Magicka, I'd try and cast Sanctuary, but I need one more Hearth Heal chance. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. This guy has no stamina. What? What? How do you have how do you have less stamina than a rat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I mean this this guy's done. This guy's done. He ran all the way here. Yeah, I guess he did. This is this is. Fisto gets it. Hey, this is Fisto's this this is the stream for you. I mean we're you got fists flying everywhere, man. <laughs> Heavy knife, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just put he just put away the sword from Berserk. You just didn't see it. He put it away before he came in. <laughs> what a chump. Look at this guy. Boom. All right, well, there's our money problem solved. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm i just going to... Oh, you're right, you're right. Good, good call, Fisto. Yep. Good call. Claps, everyone. All right. Uh, Well, I'm just going to leave him for Jerain. We're, ju we're just going to shut the door. And look at that. 
It's like it never happened. It's like it never even happened. That was kind of brutal. A little bit. Speak quickly, Outlander, With these uh, reptilian claws. Actually, I need to go sleep again. Cause I, I, use, I didn't get my I Magicka back, actually. So I'm going to sidle up to the body that we just eviscerated with our reptilian claws. <laughs> no one needs to know about this. Look at that. A 5x to speed and literally nothing else. I'm going to defer that level. <laughs> I am uh, not gonna grab that one. No, I don't think so. All right, now here's the real test. Hold on. That's drain fatigue. That's damage fatigue. I don't think I grabbed a. I didn't grab a paralyze yet. No. Okay. So here is the real problem with hand to hands: is when you have two enemies at once. Have I attempted the two minute or so speed run for the game? I have not. That is uh That is purely on oh my gosh, I am blanking on his name. I feel so bad. That incredible sp Marwin speedrunner on YouTube. I've seen like all of his freaking videos. Oh my gosh, what's his name? I can't remember. There is an amazing speedrunner on YouTube though. I you're probably referencing the same guy absolute legend of the speed run i watch him and i'm just like in awe i'm like how do you do that that is that is just fan it's crazy man you're hitting me up on top of these what are you talking about all right hold on stop i'm not there's no way your little rat legs can reach up here volvulus exactly yes volvulus he's amazing Uh, you, ha you forgot how you get those guys to stay. You have to do tribunal. Man, I was thought I thought I could like get one away, but now the other one's on me already too. Crap. Oh, am I staggered? <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay, hold on. God, we just need to kill one of them. Distract them with cheese. Oh, I don't have any. I'm fresh out of cheese. I left all my cheese at the Fighters Guild. Uh, what el other Elder Scrolls games do I enjoy? Every single one of them. I am a just huge fan of the series. I have easily as much playtime in Skyrim as I do in Morrowind. Oblivion's the one I probably play the least, and then uh, of the modern games. And then I played a good bit of Daggerfall, um, not a ton. And then I actually have not played Arena. Uh, I have not gotten into Arena, which I need to do. I've been trying to save it for stream. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. Because the problem is, as you probably can tell with Morrowind, I like to, like, really learn a game and then kind of, you know, share it with folks. Uh, so that's kind of why I haven't done Arena yet, but I need to get over there. Why does he keep... He keeps, like, falling away from me, so I can't hit him. Suffocate them with the pillows. You're right. That, that would be the proper technique. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to die. Hold on. Uh, I need more Magicka. Uh, when did I start playing Marwin? Dude, dude, probably like mm, forever ago. <laughs> I don't even know. I was like seven, <laughs> eight, nine. I think I was like seven. Uh, it's forever ago. So what's this regarding? I don't think it was right when it came out. But it was, like, really close to it. Big new game purchase. That's awesome. It, it's, so Morrowind, my older brother actually got. And then I... 
uh, I would just play after him. And I remember, I, I, I've told this story a million freaking times. Um, but the first, t- the first time I ever played Morrowind, I hated it. I thought it was the stupidest game ever. Because, like I said, I, it was my older brother's game, and I was watching him as a younger brother does. And I was watching him play this game, and he was, like, doing all this cool stuff, and he was, like, going on these adventures. Like, it was the first day we had Morrowind. And he was, like, you know, he got out and, like, did the Fargoth thing and was, like, you know, going through ancestral tombs. And I was, like, this game is so badass. I can't wait for him to get off the computer and, and for me to play it. And then I went and I started my own save. And I, I didn't realize that you had to pick up the uh, your papers off the table. So I, I was stuck in the census excise office for like liter- like a literal hour. And I was like, this is the stupidest game ever. Why would he ever play this? This is so dumb. I hate this game. And I rage quit Morrowind the first time I play it. Actual, actual canon. <laughs> but then I, you know, came back and, and here it is. The rest is history. Yeah, the gold symbol on the front. Exactly. That it, it's too good looking. Uh, you know what we can do actually before I go and slam my head against those rats again. I'm gonna sell my Dark Brotherhood stuff and then I'm gonna buy some training from Caius. Cause the clo the the sooner we get hand to hand to 100, the happier I am. Um. Hand to hand does not work below 80. Uh, or so. It's just so brutal. And I'm I'm going to be a stickler. I'm going to put my hands away and get all my fatigue back. I'm, I'm trying to get as much gold out of this as I can. All right, 1347. That's a couple levels. Oh, the lore master. Monster Kitty in the house. Welcome back, Monster! Oh, it's it's always a pleasure to have you in. There you go, Warburger. There you go. My time is <laughs> you learned your cardinal directions. It'll it'll teach you those quick. That yeah, you're right, that's for sure. Oh, did I really fall in the river? Okay. No one. This is just a playtest stream. No one's seeing this. I am not using console commands. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the font size. It is very small. You gotta be. You gotta wear like a monocle. You know. You gotta be a, a very, very advanced to read it for sure. All right, hand to hand. You cannot train a skill above its governing attribute. I really have to level my speed. You want okay. something, friend? If you, you... Oh, crap. I can't... Come on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Oh, well, I guess I get some money. So that's fine, actually. Uh, TCG games. Nice. Oh, yeah, magic. Oh, big, big fan of magic over here, too. Hell, yeah. You in some Morrowind altars? Yeah, Morrowind magic cards would be so tight. Hey Caius, you're watching you're watching your operative literally die. What are you doing? Hold on. Why are you not helping me? I, I know Caius is just watching. He's just like letting this happen. I got this guy all the way over here. The Emperor did the thing, and, and now I'm just gonna watch him die. Am I a commander player? I'm command. I don't play a lot of commander. I'm more of a. I. I my favorite form of magic is draft. Um, I love draft, and the first form of magic I ever got into was modern. Funny enough. Um, and then I play like arena. I play MTG arena now, so I guess I play standard, but I don't play a ton of arena. Not as much as I used to. But my favorite way to play Magic is definitely definitely draft. I have a a very small cube over there that I, I use. Um, I'm 
love Commander in the right play group. Yeah, I need to I need to find some, a, a lot of my a lot of like the people I guess in my area and a lot of my friends are starting to get into Commander, but I feel like MTG like Wizards are pushing everybody to Commander now. Like they're not even like pushing other formats. They're like everybody we're gonna m make a million Commander decks and you know so I, I'll I'll definitely get more into Commander because everybody's just gonna play Commander. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Assassin. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. That is another 1,400 gold, and all we had to do was uh, make our boss watch us kill someone for it. <laughs> all right, but what we can do is now level up our speed. And I'll put that extra point into luck because if you don't have any Xs, if you don't have any multiples... Remember, you'll never get a multiple on luck, so you should never feel bad only putting one point into luck. <clears throat> Alright, so what is my hand-to-hand -hand now? I probably can't even. Uh, it's, it's, so the, my speed is 45. I can, I can buy one level. <laughs> I can get one level of training, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Uh, and that even is only an X2, so... Not worth it. The font size. Hey, that's fair. That's an easy fix, though. You know. Like you said, with mods, anything is possible. Have we not leveled up our unarmored, by the way? Okay, no, our unarmored is 44. I just haven't been paying attention. <laughs> One closer. I know, I was like, let's get this money, and then... Yeah, I can't level it up, because my... Uh, my speed is two. <laughs> but you know what we can do? We can go back to slapping some rats. Did I play the Elsewhere mod from Oblivion? I don't think I did. Uh, no, I did not. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I am need to leash them out one at a time because that's what you got to do with hand to hand. Jeez, brutal. Brutal build, brutal build. Come on. You can do it. I keep forgetting to cast Sanctuary. That actually would make my life a lot easier. I shouldn't say will. I, I that that is a very strong word. I should say should make my life easier. <laughs> Hopefully raise our dodge chance enough to the rats can't hit us. What? Actually we rolled the minimum amount. We only got ten. <laughs> yeah, some some person who doesn't understand Morrowind is like, this guy is literally just punching rats and dying. Little do they know, this this is hand to hand. This is hand to hand in Marwin. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised I'm I'm honestly surprised I'm missing so much because I have a I have full fatigue and my my agility is at like 50 I think. Rat dodge chance OP. The good thing is, at least, hand-to-hand's really easy to level. Like, we're already at level 46, and we just started. Okay, come on. Come on. Heal. Heal. Thank you. This is the new meta. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> What I need to do is go and grab one of the uh, gauntlets of the horny fist. That that help out. That'd give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost. I'm gonna have to tap out again, dude. The double rat, the double rat with the unarmored level uh, two Argonian. It's too much. Look at this crap. Okay. 
That is why this is the playtest stream. Uh, yeah, let's go heal again. God, what's a better way to do this? I can start oh, cause I, I can start with a paralyze on one rat, and then we're only fighting one. I may do that. I may try and start with a lover's kiss to get the paralyze on one. I could go get it like the a the paralysis amulet. I can uh, go get the one. I can drop the aggro. I'm trying to think. That'd probably be the easiest. Like, the only way... Or I could just start using... Uh, well, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'll, ke I'll keep waiting. I'll get the I'll get the X5. Um, also, if folks didn't know, you can hit escape when your level up pops up, and it'll cancel your level up, and you can save it uh, just till the next time you rest. My the Horn Fist. Yes, the classic items. I'm going to try it with the Lover's Kiss. It's going to put my fatigue to zero. Just about zero. Looks like I'm barely using, like, one fatigue, though, for these attacks. So it could, you know. 60 seconds alone... It's not as much as five minutes alone that the that Pantera asked for, but it's better than nothing. All right, let's try this. Let's try the Lover's Kiss. I The only paralysis spell right now, because I'm so low level, is only like a couple seconds. So let's... All right, we got one paralyzed, but we have no fatigue. Let's see how this goes. Not great. We're landing a couple hits. Yeah, that's that takes our fatigue too low. Yeah, I could grab some fatigue potions. That may be the only way around it. I, I always try and avoid it if I can. But that's the... That is the point of this. Figure out what works best. So yeah, I may need to run to the fighter's guild, grab fatigue potions, and then come back. Use the paralyze. Because that's the, that's the clear way I gotta do the paralyze on one and fight the other. Uh, thoughts on Tamriel be it Rebuilt? Huge fan. I am so in love with the community that this game has, and I cannot believe that people are still doing stuff like that. I mean, what a freaking testament to this game's staying power. Like, how incredible. Not many games can say that, you know? That says a lot about the Bethesda fandoms. Um, that we still have such kick-ass stuff coming out for this game, even now. Like, come on. How phenomenal. Favorite non-humanoid creature in Morrowind. That's tough. That's actually pretty tough. Oh, I'm about to get stuck on the rats. Um, I would probably have to say... Gosh, I gotta think about that. Golden Saints are bad. But I they're not... They're like Daedra, so they're... Are we talking like Daedra, or are we talking like creatures? Because I do love Golden Saints, and I always thought Winged Twilights were Quickly badass. Um, but if we're talking, like, creatures, creatures, and, like, not Daedra, I, I... Daedra can be included? Okay. Hmm. Gosh, my top two are probably... Golden Saints are just so good. I'll take this level up, sure. Um, I suppose it is my duty to help those oh man, that's tough. Because now I'm thinking about all the other Daedra. Daedroth are also super bad. I always thought Daedroth looked like they were from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're a scrib and a guar. 
Yes, the scrib, the humble scrib. Okay. My um, okay, my immediate gut reaction before I was like, I should think about this a little more was the Nyx Hound. Because the Nyx Hound looks so alien. I should probably go with my immediate gut. My immediate gut was the Nyx Hound, because they look so absurd. Um, that's like only like that's an only Morrowind creature, you know what I mean? But if I had to pick one to, like, use in the game, it'd, it'd be a golden sink. Re yeah, respect your surroundings. Very true. All right, we got the fatigue potions that I... I always try to avoid using them. Because they take, I think, like, a month of in-game time to refresh at the guild halls. <laughs> that is true. Yes, Nick Sound are awesome. And yes, hello, Mr. Tito. Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. What we're doing is a hand to hand build, and it is as laborious as one would expect. But the good thing is, we're starting to get some levels. We're already at 47, which is pretty good. The great, the good thing about hand to hand, like I said a million times already, is it's very, very easy to level. Once you get around 80, 90, then then it really kicks in. I guess we need to like layer ourselves with chameleons and um, sanctuaries, like that's the only way that we're gonna live. L uh, chameleon sanctuaries and shields. But the problem is we only have 60 Magicka right now. But those are the only things that are going to keep us alive. Because I'm trying to, like, only kill stuff with hand-to-hand. -hand. All right, but let's lead with the Lover's Kiss again. Oh, I've already used it today. Hold on. <laughs> yes, and uh, always intriguing, yeah, looking at the loading screens. Uh, my favorite quest. Ooh, that's really tough. Again, my immediate gut reaction is Cloud Cleaver because that was so funny. Like the Naked North. I remember the first time I did that quest. I was like, what is this game? Like, this is so hysterical. Um, that one stuck with me. Like the naked guy, the witch, like stole his clothes and his ass. <laughs> like, that was so funny. I was like, this game is like totally different. Um, that's kind of a cop out though. Like that one's pretty, that one's pretty simple. Oh, the guy in the river. Yes. Oh, yeah. You got to find his pants. That one's a classic. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The Skyship one. That's cool. I like... Uh, or, ooh, the one... Um, the Daedra, the Daedra Island. Like uh, the quest uh, for Azura. I thought that one was pretty cool. Because you got to fight all those like wild enemies. Like that literal island of Daedra, that was that was pretty cool. And it's pretty hard. Um, pretty hard for a new player. Pantless chap, there you go. Never forget, ye ye pantless man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, class. Hey, there it is. Yes, that's the best part of Morrowind. How alien and you walked in right as we were talking about how alien and weird it is. And you're seeing how quirky it is here because I'm getting uh, slaughtered by rats just because I'm doing hand to hand. <laughs> Come on, yes, okay, yes. Uh, grinding fatigue potions is the only way, apparently. I knew the paralysis, like we had to do the paralysis. I always I always hate using uh, guild fatigue potions so early though. They just take so long to respawn, but I guess I can, because we learned how easy Dark Brotherhood members were to kill. I guess I could just keep killing them and keep buying fatigue potions on repeat. So that's not a huge detriment actually. Mm -hmm. 
very nice X play. Wow, that's a throwback. Does anyone remember G4? Remember when, like, video games were, uh, you know... I feel like gaming wasn't even, like, mainstream yet, and they're like, let's go ahead and make a video game channel, you know? <laughs> Dude, G4. Although G4, like, the longer it went, it just kind of became Spike, and Spike kind of became G4. Yes, dude. GameSpot TV. Man. Those were the best. Those were the those were those were some good reviews. <laughs> GameSpot though. GameSpot GameSpot I mean they still do pretty good reviews. I remember back in the day like I was I would always look at GameSpot. I thought GameSpot because they did those like r pretty long video essays for the time. Um that had really good reviews. Okay, good point, Mr. T. Good point, Mr. T. It worked because it wasn't. Yeah. That is very true. I agree with you, Matthew. Yeah. It's it's good and it's like uh, it's like the Star Wars prequels, like uh, Attack of the Clones. I love Attack of the Clones. I have also not seen Attack of the Clones in probably nine, ten years. And I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> because I know that if I watch it again, it will probably suck. <laughs> so, what's this so I will not watch it again. I have decided, like, I'm, I'll watch it again eventually, but th today is not that day. Because I know that my memory of it is way better than that movie actually was. A New Hope? Hey, A New Hope's a good movie. Yeah. Hey, you hate you hate the rest of them. Hey, fair enough. To each their own. So what do you want? I'm not a big fan of the Hail. the newer ones, but oh yeah, I gotta freaking talk to Drain. Okay. I always forget that. I'm not like a massive diehard Star Wars fan, but I appreciate the movies. It's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, I like them, you know? Sure, they get a little dumber with age, but they're fine. You know, they they entertain me, right? They, I, pay, I pay for my ticket. I leave entertained, you know? It's all right. Rogue One was solid. Yes, Rogue One was a very Make good film. Quick, Outlander. A bubble, bubble wrap. Oh my god, I'm banning you. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to talk about Star Wars? The only real Star Wars movies that that damn holiday special back there. If they ain't wearing Christmas sweaters and singing carols, that ain't a Star Wars film. All right. <laughs> Sequels, prequels, spinoffs. Yeah, yeah, they don't need to. I mean, the the first, the original trilogy certainly stands alone, but, you know, people are going to milk it as much as they can. Yes. Rogue One, best theater experience. There you, there you go. Yeah, Rogue One was so good. I, I, I do stand by that. I love that movie. That was very good. What's your story? And I agree. They don't need to exist, but as long as they do a good faith effort, it's not just fan service. You know, it's its own piece of media that could stand. Like, if you removed the branding and it was still good, then I think, yeah, go for it. The problem are the lazy ones when it's just a lazy, you know, cash grab. Like, those always feel stupid because you're just trying to like like uh yeah you're just trying to cash in on the name you know but like rogue one rogue one was like an objectively good movie so what do you want all right what do all do i have okay i got plenty of dark brother stuff to sell let's cop over here 
You know what? I actually may go sell this to the creeper because we're early game and I want as much money as possible. Marvel movies cash grab. I'm not a big Marvel guy. I probably haven't seen the last five. I suppose it is no, no knock on people who enjoy them. I enjoy plenty of uh, plenty of series more than I should. But yeah, that is not not something I've watched. I watched the Avengers trilogy or whatever, like whatever it was up to Endgame, and I haven't seen a single Marvel one since. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, you are kind of in a box. You know, you don't want to reinvent it. You can't go too far away from the... You can't go too far away from the property or people are going to be like, Oh, you destroyed the thing. God damn it. You know, you made us Christmas special. What the hell? But then if you stay too close, then it's like the same thing. I get what you're saying. The Sigma himself. <laughs> Zombie ritual. Heck yeah. I hope that is a uh, death reference that I'm picking up there. Fantastic name. Welcome into chat. And uh, 3,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. It's so simple. It's so easy. Look at that. God, the creeper's just giving away money, everyone. He just gives it away. It's like a cheat code. Speak quickly. Least favorite quest, Yagram. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Quit telling me to run around in this place. Just, just tell me about the dwarves. What happened, please? That's fair. Your first introduction to death was the punk band. I've heard of a punk band named Death, but I'm not, I am like Metal Man. I, I know just enough about punk to be dangerous, so I do not actually know. Um, I do not know that, I did not know there was a Death punk band. Uh, well, I, like I said, I've heard the name. I've heard zero songs uh, of them. Zero songs. Um, okay, I got 4,400 gold. I'm trying to set up for a hand-to-hand -hand build. What do I want to do? I want to go to the trader in Caldera and buy that amulet. Have something to say to that's what I want to do. Yes, friend. So the thing that's becoming very apparent, we need a lot of ways to shield ourselves magically because we're unarmored, and we need paralysis at the ready. Mate Bear, welcome back. Welcome in. Welcome in politicians in my eyes. Okay, yeah, I'll check them out. Now, I obviously am a huge fan uh, of the, the metal band Death. Got the Death to All shirt on. The uh, tribute band to Death. That's all Death members and then the guy who's not from Death singing in Chuck's place. But still amazing. Go see the shows if you're a Death fan. They are freaking awesome live. Note for note. Killed it. Operation Ivy. I love Operation Ivy, actually. I do know them. Um, Frickin' Unity, Slapshot, Killer Songs. Unity's my favorite uh, Ivy song. They're so good. Uh, let me see. What all do we have? Okay, Amulet of Recall. That's a buy. Um, there's so many good things at this random trader. Farks, uh, Fark Skewer? Well... Spark skewer. All right. Invisibility. Fireball. Actually, I'm not going to take the fireball again. I'm said I'm using no damage. I'm using no damage. That is not hand-to-hand. -hand. Damage fatigue, though. That could be big. That doesn't count. That's not health damage. Damage fatigue. That that That's perfectly valid. And actually gets us way closer to our, our goal of... Uh, you know, dealing health damage with our fists. So this could actually be a huge pickup. Cast when used, damage 21 to 42. Let me see here. Uh, resist, reflect, frost mirror, don't need that. 
That's just like a general heal. Stacking little heals like this is actually pretty big. I'm going to buy the Veloth's robe. It's not the best. It's not the greatest. It's nothing fancy. But if you stack yes, a lot of really oh, small good. ways to heal yourself early game, um, it makes it way easier to heal, and then you don't have to waste as many of your um, magic potions that you don't want to spend money on early game because you're training. Ranging with Robin. Oh, the OG. Man, you're in the back. <laughs> Love the content. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. But you, you know, everybody in here right now, all the comments, that's why I keep doing it, right? Well, I did it for a long time with nobody watching it, but y'all would keep me doing it. How about that? So thanks, everyone. Go ahead, stranger. Um, gosh, for being here, for watching a video, for anything. It's just cool. I can't believe, I'm still shocked that people like go back and watch my old series. Like I look back at my old series and I'm always humbled at I, how far, how far I've come. <laughs> Daedric helmets, and you did, yeah. Oh, that was you, Zombie Ritual, nice. Well, I'm glad we could make it happen. Glad we could make it happen. All right, I don't think I need any of this. Take one in, take I one in. Yeah, absolutely. Great song. Rancid, too. So, uh, 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 Rancid is probably like my most listened to punk band. I like Rancid a lot. They get the Roots, Roots Radicals. Oh, man. Journey to the End of East Bay. Out Come the Wolves, that album. Oh, perfection. Perfection. All right, now that I got that robe, I'm going to sell my normal robe. And now I need to think, what do I want to do next? So I think I'm pretty set up. I do want to... I guess I need to start another fight to try that um, ring. Because I think that ring is going to be a big game changer. Anything that sets us up to damage fatigue is huge. Because that puts us closer to dealing actual damage. So I'm wondering if we just kind of run off and do like the Egg Poacher Mine quest... And, uh, so what do you want? actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's just do the Head Egg Poacher quest. Anything we just need to go fight. <laughs> Closer to actual damage, right? <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Put your best foot forward to rip every step. I appreciate that. Well, very nice. Hell yeah. I do. I try. Try and do with a good, as good a job as I can. All right. Uh, if I played Fallout, I love Fallout. Um, I haven't played it on stream. I did a couple. Actually, I did. I did a couple Fallout streams way back in the day. Um, but I. I mean, like this is like OG. Funny. I think I've streamed off and on a, on Twitch for freaking ever um but early on like i mean i didn't really do it with any kind of seriousness but i did do like way early fallout 4 streams and stuff i love fallout fallout 3 is one of my top games of all time i'd probably put fallout 3 above oblivion i know that's sacrilege but that game that game means a lot to me like back in the day i loved that game so very much all right, we're gonna try the ring of the iron hand. Let's let's start testing this out. Look at that. Okay, now we're dealing damage. <laughs> damage fatigue is the best. Exactly. Damage fatigue paired with us punching. That is the way to go. <laughs> you said it, not me, Matthew. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Little piles of dwarf dust everywhere. Whoa. Half of the ambient soundtrack for Fallout Miami. Holy crap. Well, thank you for your work. That's awesome. 
Hell yeah, man. Again, shout out to the amazing community around these games. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this <laughs> up. I'm a busy guy. You don't look very busy, Danok. Well, you sitting here with your buddy. You know, I've played this game for 20 years, and I've never seen you freaking move. What do you mean you're busy? I think we are, I think we got this guy. I think he's lying. <laughs> I think he's a liar. I don't know though. Oh, the combat. Well, fair enough. Hey, again to each their own. You know, you don't like Fallout? That's totally cool. Love Fallout? Totally cool. The dwarf ghost floating around. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, contradiction. Contriving. Uh, it's a lot. Conflicting. Conflicting. That's the word. How did I? How did it take me the longest to get to the easiest word? Yeah, there's a lot of conflicting dwarf stuff going on in these games for sure. Don't mention Fallout 3 is your favorite. Yeah, that's right. New Vegas fans, the um, some hey, some fans get very defensive about their favorite games. That's very very true. Um, I I love Fallout 3, and my the only reason I put Fallout 3 above Ve New Vegas uh, is Fallout 3. Number one, it was my first Fallout game. Um, I did not have a chance to play it on the computer, uh, as as two or one. Um, and then I liked the DC Ruins. I thought it was a bit cooler of a location than uh, the Mojave. I, I wasn't sold on the desert. Fallout New Vegas, don't get me wrong, still played it, loved it, beat it. You know, did a couple playthroughs. Um, but Fallout 3, I had way more time in Fallout 3. Easy. I loved Fallout 3. That, yes, I, I'd agree with that. The iron sight, yeah, with the side, yeah, not the best. Standing in place is a full-time job. Lol. <laughs> yeah, totally. To each their own, man. All right, we need this guy to move because I can't get by him. All right, there we go. Fall three, first fallout. Very nice. Rushing through oblivion. Fair. Come on. Fight, fight. <laughs> Being a cowboy, he's got an iron on his hip. <laughs> Big iron on his hip. Fisto, Fisto just wants to hit it, load up the six shooter, and play some damn cards. Come on now, yeehaw, baby! <laughs> Saturated, depressing feeling. It really did. It was the pea green color that that made it. Definitely uh, gave it some character. <laughs> Fall three in Vegas are they mostly dust? Uh, I wouldn't say mostly dust. The DC ruins are pretty packed. Um, Point Lookout was really had a lot to do. Uh, I feel like Fallout three, at least for the most part, had a pretty good like exploration feel. Like I felt like whenever I you know, almost like Breath of the Wildy, whenever you looked somewhere, like you could kind of see a point of interest peeking out, like a like a building or a f you know like the Washington Monument or something, something that like pulled you to the next area. Um, I felt like it did a really good job of like stuff like that, so it felt really good to explore. Uh, 
what am I looking for? I'm looking for fatigue. Oh, did it not? Oh, it didn't take? Oh, we're dead. We are dead. We're dead, boys. There's no way. Ain't no way. I don't see it happening. Um, man, yeah, we're kind of screwed. If our paralyzed doesn't work, we're in a uh, really, really, really tough, tough straits, oh. dire straits. Because now we're fighting three people at once, and you know, can't even deal damage. Man, uh, okay. Yeah, we need a repeatable paralysis. That is what would really make this build pop off. Item does not have charge. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening right now. All right, let's rest for the full 24. If we can get a paralyze on one of the miners, I think we can kill the other one. St. Jeb commander deck. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Yeah, the flying creature hate the Saint Jub wall deck. It's just walls. Um, no, that'd be more like the Imperial Legion because they build all the forts. Imperial Legion wall deck. All right, uh, let me get by. You people deal no damage, but the problem is there's too many of you. All right, we got. We got him stunned in the middle of the road, so hopefully we can slap him enough. Oh yeah, I need to do my fatigue potions. All right, there we go. Now, okay, we're dealing damage to one. <laughs> we're dealing one damage uh, every hit, but. We are dealing damage. Mike the liar deck. <laughs> face down creatures. Oh yeah, the flips. For some reason you said face down creatures and I was like, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh, what are you talking about? Oh my god, please die, please die, please. There's no way we kill them before the stun runs out. There's no way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No. Okay. Come on, come on, please. How did you get your fatigue back? What? Oh, no. That was the opening right there. How are they getting their fatigue back? Okay, here we go. Now we got it back down. Come on. God, this is a battle of attrition. Okay, hold on. Let's do that again. Ooh. God, I feel like I have to use 100% of my brain for this build. All right, we're still not at X5. Oh, uh, man. Lover's kiss. Let's do another 24-hour rest. <laughs> yes, the crab deck. I like that. Although the rune crab is a horrible card and should never have been printed. That thing is so infuriating. And I missed. That's cool. Hey, but he's stuck behind those guys. Um, how do these guys have so much fatigue? I'm 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 impressed by the worm. The worm's been doing cardio. Also, I love how like the Kwama foragers and the Kwama workers, they like do like the you know, mech kind of hop in the head of the worker and become the uh become the warrior. I always thought that was kind of wild. Oh. 
It's like the Megazords from uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> or like, uh, you know, like Transformers or something. It is kind of weird, right? It seems that way, Mr. T, doesn't it? Like, the rats and the Quama Foragers have, like, put up such a fight, and then we, you know, fight the Dark Brotherhood, and, and he dies in two seconds. I took that lady out, all of her fatigue, with the full cast of the Iron Hand. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Uh, I don't want to do abs. I thought about uh, taking absorb health, but then I'm like, I feel like that's kind of cheating. I feel like that kind of cheats on the build. I don't know. What what are thoughts? What are thoughts? Is absorb health cheating? I think it's cheating for a hand-to-hand -hand build. Cross country rats, yeah. <laughs> they got to put in a lot of work with those little legs to get where they're going, man. Enchanted fists. Hey, your fists are somewhat enchanted because you can punch ghosts with your fists. They're actually not treated as normal weapons. <laughs> You're right, Bubble Wrap. <laughs> it is way overpowered. It is such a busted skill. Like, honestly. All right, I have no fatigue. That's why it's, I'll take this one. I'm going to have to go raid another fighter's guild. Am I excited for Lord of the Rings magic? I am because I like Lord of the Rings, but I'm also not because I feel like they're diluting the brand of MTG by pulling in all these other properties a little bit. But I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Like, I think it's really... I see all the cards seem really cool, you know? Um, the one ring, the one one ring, that's kind of wild. The $100,000 card, that's a phenomenal. Absorb fatigue is a good compromise. I'd agree with that. I feel like this build does... Like, I knew it needed something from mysticism. I feel like... And I was originally thinking absorb health, but as I started playing tonight, I'm like, absorb health, that doesn't feel true to the build. But the absorb fatigue would, because the absorb fatigue gets us closer to doing health damage with our fists. So it still supports the build, and it levels mysticism, but it's uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that our fists are doing all the damage. So I think you're right. I think absorb fatigue is the actual... The actual mysticism spell I should be using. Uh, I feel like I would DM the most awesome D and D campaigns. <laughs> I I I put a lot of work into the ones I do DM. I've been a forever DM. Um, I'm actually playing in a D and D campaign now for the first time since like I don't know a decade. I've done like two. Uh, two one shots and uh, like a three session campaign, but yeah, I do love DMing. Um, big, big fan of D and D. Okay, all right, we slapped everybody to death. We did it! Oh my god! At first, at first, I didn't think we'd pull it off. But with enough grit and resting outside the door that the enemies are behind, anything is possible. Just remember that. You get in a tight spot, go sleep for 24 hours, and you'll figure it out. All right? Just remember that. There's a little advice for life. <laughs> Just rest until healed. You'll be fine. Okay, speed, luck, and then I guess I should just throw this extra point to uh, willpower. All right, what's our unarmored now? 52, hand-to-hand's 58. We can't keep up. We literally cannot level our speed fast enough to keep up with hand-to-hand. -hand. So we can't even train our hand-to-hand, -hand. funny enough. You've never played but always wanted to. My number one recommendation is find a really good group. Um, because as long as you are playing with people that you enjoy, you will always have fun. Um, 
think of D and D as more like group storytelling than like uh, math, and it is infinitely more fun. And as long as you're with cool people, you will always have a good time. Period. What class am I playing? I am playing a wizard. I am a Asimer wizard. And it is phenomenal. Hell yeah, I've thought about... See, I've thought about doing a virtual D&D, but I'm like, the problem is, you know, one person plays, everybody's got to play. That's the only thing. Uh, I've tried to think of a better way to do it, but I haven't found one yet. But if I ever come around to a good idea, um, I'll throw it in the Discord or something. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe do like, uh, like a charity stream uh, perk or something. Because I have wanted to do that before, like do a little charity stream and do some like giveaways or something. Um, I don't know. I like the I like the uh, Wes Johnson. He does like the uh, Alzheimer's charity, or maybe it's not Alzheimer's. Wes Johnson does a Morrowind like charity uh, stream every year, and every year I'm like, man, I should do that, and then I just don't. <laughs> but I'm always like, man, I should I should do that. The Wizard of Hands. Oh, my God. Yes. Throwing hands. That's all you need. As long as you're throwing hands, you'll be doing good. Who who was in Paris? Uh, I'm not sure. The French? Parisians? Uh, people who like wine? <laughs> People who smoke? Uh, uh, people who hate Americans. <laughs> I've always heard that Parisians don't really like Americans, but uh, never been to Paris, so I can't, I cannot, uh, cannot validate that statement. It really does. Okay, now, now that we're, now that we're punching this Knicks hound, it really, really does feel like. Uh, some of these creatures do have a way higher fatigue pool than uh, a lot of the people that we're finding, which is very funny. Good perception and could understand almost any language. Tiefling druid. Druids understand a lot of languages. Bards. Well, no, bards just get a bunch of buffs to their like uh, ability checks. I don't know if they get a bunch of languages. Tiefling Druid does sound cool. I'm I'm just a fan of Tieflings in general because they're kind of like uh, they're different, you know. They're kind of demonic. They're like the uh, anti Asimer, which is kind of cool. And I'm a big fan of Druids because Wild Shape is awesome and so flavorful. As a DM, I am a sucker for the flavor abilities versus just raw damage, just because it makes it more fun for me uh, when people do crazy stuff and like make me think on my feet. Like that's always fun, and that's why I picked a wizard for my own class because I'm like I want to do all these like weird stuff. They hate anyone who isn't Parisian. Okay, <laughs> so it's not just Americans. All right, it's it's not mutual. It's not exclusive. <laughs> They just hate everybody. Okay, fair. Fair enough. There's some places like like that, you know, in the U.S. too. Um, all right, I should probably turn in my quest. I think I was thinking about going to buy more spells, but let's actually, let's just turn in the quest. Uh, they do. They do, class. Yeah. Um... The Nick, I don't like the Nyx Hound in ESO. I, I played very little ESO. So what's this regard? And what say you? Yeah, I was like, that's not a Nyx Hound. What are you talking about? Um, they look like way more bug-like in a weird way. Telvani agents in the Caldera mine. 
I've never heard it. I've never done this quest before. He says sarcastically. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Yeah, yeah, warlocks are cool. Yeah. Um, I do like that. Because it gives you, like, as the DM, uh, a cool way to give the players a spotlight, you know? And it gives you, like, an extra hand to move the pieces, so to speak, right? You're, it's not just the big bad or, like, you know, whatever. Like, you also now have the patron that can make, you know, that can put pressure in a certain direction or another direction. Yeah, I do like that. Care to tell me Yeah, it's just a tons of flavor. Exactly. All right, do we have stuff to sell? Uh, restore. Hey, we got some good restore fatigue potions. Just going to put on these amulets. I got to remember, I got to use the frost mirror robe. That is something I always forget. We're going to take off ring of the aversion. Keep on iron hand, although it doesn't really matter. We do need more standard fatigue potions so I'm going to teleport to Aldrun I'm going to raid the Aldrun fighters guild oh that's cool I like that yeah what assistance do you we're getting rid of the demon thing and we're doing the animal thing now that's cool that's kind of funny enough that's kind of like what my wizard is like right now it's uh doing a um So uh, it's a fallen Asimar. So he's like, uh, he's a necromancer. But it's like, but Asimar have to have a deity. They're kind of like a warlock where they have a connection to some other thing. But the Asimar is like a deity. Like it has to have a connection with a deity. And uh, they're typically lawful good. But my guy is like... He does good things, but it's like an ends justify the means where he's a necromancer um, because death is the ultimate power and the only way to get justice. I just wanted to, d I wanted to take a class and then like turn it on its head, but in a way that made sense. And so that was like, I was looking through the book and I'm like, oh, that would be so tight. And I've always... I've always wanted to do a, a, a necromancer wizard. Um, okay, so I raided that. We got our fatigue. What's like one... I'm looking for like one last good task. What's like one last good task to close? Let me think here. I'm not going to go... Say, uh, I guess I could move over to the Caldera Mine. Yeah, I'll start doing that actually. I'll start. I'll start walking that way. Hills north of Caldera, yeah. Tiefling, but good and grassy, exactly. It's fun to, uh, to s flip the expectations, for sure. What's this about? What is that? You tell me. What is this about, sir? You got... Does, he looks like he's got some, like, blue eye shadow. Look at the way the texture is pulled across his face. That's kind of funny. All right, let me ask the guard. You there, tell me about the mine. Yes. All right, the mines are southwest of the village. There's an office, bunkhouse, all that good stuff. Um, Go ahead, stranger. The hills north of Caldera. Oh, in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera mine. And the mine is southwest. That always gets me. I've done I've run so many times to the north of Caldera and uh totally botched this quest. Um Yeah. <laughs> Got to do some critical reading. You actually have to you actually uh this is, Morrowind is just the SAT. Fun fact. You, the journal is is just a actor it's just a reading test every time. 
how much detail can we throw at them before they just lose it and uh, no longer understand what we're talking? Oh, a shapeshifter that can only take a particular form once? That sounds like it'd be a really cool enemy. Or, or like a... That'd be like an interesting choice for a player to make for someone. Like, I can only do this... DMPC, you know, like, I can only make this person change once, right? Yeah, that'd be interesting. That's actually a good idea. Let me write that down. The Morrowind player likes choices with consequences? Wow. Un un unheard of. <laughs> didn't, didn't see that one coming. I hit this thing with it with, with all the f the rings. It just has so much. They feel like these things have so much stamina. <laughs> yes, class. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Like I, I got one on you, Todd. <laughs> you are but mortal. Totally. I have. You have trapped a soul. Oh yeah, I meant to buy the absorb fatigue. That's what I forgot to do when I. I was like, I'm forgetting something when I was doing shopping a second ago. I forgot to do Absorb Fatigue and buy the actual spell. Oh, well. Oh, and I think, because I'm spamming it, I think I'm actually resetting that ability. I think I need to not spam the ring so quick. I need to hit it once, wait, hit it once, wait, hit it once, wait. I That's another thing I always do. Although it's one second, I don't know if the triggers would override each other. That's actually a good thing to think about. I'll have to think about that later. I refuse to download the mod to fix the text. <laughs> Bubble wrap wants his pure, uncut Morrowind. <laughs> Do I want to punch these guys? Actually, probably not right now. Hold on, I need to go west. I'm actually back at Balmora. God, I missed it again. Did I not? I did. Well, I guess I gotta fight these guys. I don't really have a choice. They're just gonna chase me down. The one good thing about Nick's Hounds is I have zero fatigue. Apparently, they also have, like, zero chance to dodge because this guy is still getting slapped, like, every time. <laughs> You're so used to the typos that you cannot see anything else. I respect that. Ow, come on. Chill, chill, chill. I was like, what am I looking for? I'm freaking out. It's hearth heal. Can I really not get one cast off? Okay, thank you. I can land a million punches, but I can't get one cast of hearth heal. See, guys, it isn't hand-to-hand -hand so fun? Look at this. Are, are we, are, isn't, isn't this the best play style? <laughs> Totally, totally viable, totally valid. <laughs> the most fun way to play Marwin. <laughs> it does feel really nice when you finally get them down, because it feels like you really, 
you really did something. You know, when you finally beat an enemy, you're like, like damn, like I, I freaking did something, you know? Like, see how long it took? Yeah, he's chill. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like you, every kill, yeah, every kill is earned, exactly. It really is, though. It's not, you know, that's not a joke. <laughs> You saw you saw how long it took for us to fight two rats. Every kill is is earned. It is not taken for granted. Hey, the good thing is though now we're actually like starting to get starting to get a little heat on the fists. You know, we're actually starting to lay a little, you know, slap a little meat down. Look at that. We're actually dealing damage because now we're at sixty one. Long, uh, long blade, lol. Uh, 61 hand to hand. 62, actually. Actually starting to lay a little, lay a little pain down. Die. Oh, come on. Every time. Jeez, what the hell? What the, what is that guy smoking? This is not your normal Dark Brotherhood assassin. What the heck? All the other guys were like pansies, and that guy came and just hit us like seven times in a row. Ratless and Vermin Melville, very nice. Okay, okay, what is, who is this guy? All right, what, what, are, are they not sending the, the junior assassins anymore? We actually got like the real guys out here now? Okay, thank God. Okay, he's still got as much health as uh, Weenie Hut Jr., but what the heck? He was dealing a million freaking damage. What was that? <clears throat> Best place to find an early and more mortal and pestle. I think there's all the... High level alchemy equipment and the Caldera Mages Guild if you go to the tower. I'm trying to remember if there's a mortal and pestle up there. I know there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, Caldera Mages Guild. Yep. And I it's definitely in my how to alchemy video. Um, I think that's I think that's the right one. Caldera Mages Guild. I'm trying to remember what's up there. Pretty sure it was a uh, mortar and pestle as well as a calcinator and uh, some other stuff. An, an alembic, maybe. Where is that other road? Am I just? Am I just? Did I just walk right by it, or did I not go far enough? I may have not gone far enough. I always forget where this place is. Let me see if I can see it from the mountaintop. Uh, that is a Daedric Ruin. Alright, we're just going to keep going southwest. Hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. Which is to the southwest. So I went east, actually. Maybe that's my problem. I only do this quest on every character, and every time I forget where this place is. Is that a death to all shirt? It is. Absolutely. Good eyes on the tiny camera. Yes. I did have the pleasure of catching them on their most recent tour. And it was phenomenal. Hell yeah, absolutely. They murdered it. It was so good. Gene Hoglin, the atomic clock on the freaking skins. Steve DiGiorgio on the base. What more do you need? Yeah, Gruesome's cool. Uh, they... I, I have not listened to as much gruesome as I should, but I, I know of them uh, enough um, to have an opinion. 
I've seen a couple of their like live videos on YouTube and stuff. They're pretty tight. I think I just went out of Caldera the wrong way. I think I should have gone out that other gate. I like how I was like, I'm going to pick one easy task, and then it's like <laughs> I just run around, punch Nick's hounds for 20 minutes. You know? <laughs> Everything's easy in a hand-to-hand -hand build. Said no one ever. Who is that? Did me zooming out the camera tr trigger combat? What? What? There's no one around me. Where? Who? What? Where? Who? What? When? Where? <laughs> 90s hip hop for a decade. Hey, 90s hip hop's pretty tight. There was some. There was even some metal crossover in there. Um, you know, new metal. Limp Bizkit. You know, it's a little play in there. Yeah, there's always more music. There is always more music, which is a good thing. You know, there's there's worse problems to have, for sure. Bubble Rap, what's your go-to 90s hip-hop artist? You had, to, you had to listen to one. Who who you drafting? Lord Finesse. I will have to check that out on your recommendation. Oh my god, I'm get hold on, I'm gonna lead these guys into town. I don't wanna fight these <laughs> I don't wanna fight these guys. Guards Guards There we go, thank you. Alright, there. <laughs> yes, do my dirty work, peasants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have to check out Lord Finesse. Any music that it, that has the energy, I'm down with. Speak with me. Like whether that's metal, hip hop, you know, I like. I mean, anything really. It doesn't matter as long as it's got the energy. I just live for that, you know. Ah, <laughs> like as long as it's giving out the vibes, I'm a hundred percent down. I listen to all kinds of music, and as long as it's got that vibe, I'm there. All right, now I immediately recognized where this was and now feel incredibly stupid. Um, as soon as I saw this rope for, uh, fence over here, I was like, yep, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Mash out Posse and Onyx are high energy, but they suck. High praise. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, there's a lot of bands like that. There's a lot of bands. We're only we're gonna ignore like half of everything you ever did. Oh my god. Not these not these people again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I'm gonna kill the rat first, actually, because the rat deals more damage. Me <laughs> with autopsy, yeah. <laughs> die, die. Okay, rat down. All right, we'll punch the Quama Forager, and then we're here at the mine. Boom. All right, look at that. Here we are. We're at the mine. Cliff Racer flying over there. They got their lookout here. The hyperfacia mushroom. Is that for the uh Is that for the Mage's Guild quest? I am bad with the mushrooms. I know a lot of them you can find in Satanine and then one is over by the river. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, Telvani agents. 
All right, how good is this guy? Let's find out. Let's find out. Can he resist the fists of fury from my level four female Argodian? He cannot. Look at that. He's already down. Oh my god. Okay, here we we have really learned that today. Uh, none of the it's the creatures have all the stamina. Like actual humanoids have no stamina. What's up with that? That's crazy. I feel like it takes us 10 years to kill a next hound, and then we punch down, you know, we punch these guys down in like two seconds. That's crazy. Am I the only one surprised by this? A rat with a Kwama Forger head? Oh, that is nightmare fuel. For sure. Uh, is any of this worth selling? I guess everything's worth selling because we're early game. So, I'll take that back. They need milk, true. Gotta, gotta have them strong bones. Not enough calcium. I shall not move. All right, let's rest until healed so I can actually hearth heal instead of burning my, uh, whatchamacallum, uh, health potions, because I don't want to do that all the time. How many fatigue potions do I have? I have nine. F uh, Thirteen, actually. Oh, this is going to suck. There's a million of them. Hold on. Target resisted. Okay. Yep, we're kind of screwed. Uh, I'm actually just going to go outside and wait. There's three at once. That is a big problem for a hand-to-hand -hand unarmored build. Target resisted again. Oh, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to have to think about... We're going to have to think about this one a little bit. Have to use the big brain. Oh, yeah, totally. Throw, throw it in the Discord. I'll check it out. Hey, we got the ring of aversion on this guy. I actually must have rolled high because we're dealing immediate damage now. Look at that. We've been, all, we've been playing not that long. A couple hours, and we're at hand-to-hand -hand is already at 67. This thing just levels so quick. Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that is so funny. Look at that. I am over and I'm over encumbered. I've had the blight this whole time? Or did I just get it? How long have I had the blight? What? Oh, well, I, I'm not really carrying anything. All right, there we go. Well, uh, I guess we're divining, sadly. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but oh well. All right, where's the thing in this one? Let's get this over wow, with. that was me. <laughs> when was the last time you were tested? <laughs> I promise, I didn't know I had the blight. Come on. Can't blame it on me. I mean. <laughs> Alright, I, I do not remember where the dang uh, shrine is in this place. I am blanking. Where am I, actually? Okay, I'm at Buckmoth. I didn't even check. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not in the prison. Exactly. They, the Morrowinders, lo Morrowinders love their Outlanders. They love them. Can't get enough of them. Wish they had more. 
So I've heard. What? Why How wonderful. Another thing. What? Why do you disturb me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm walking here. I'm literally, I'm walking here. Chill. No All right, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I just went the wrong way. Your blight. All right, we're back in the game. Woohoo! Someone should teach you. Some Let's actually merit. check these spells. Um, calm creature, humanoid. Uh, cure common disease on victim. We would rather have that on ourselves because we don't actually have that right now. Strong feather, don't care. Resists, don't care. Fortify health, not too exciting. Swimmer's blessing. No. Hold on. Did they have water walk? Let me actually check. Water walk would be tight. It's always good to have that. Swift swim has always let me down. I've never Talk been with impressed you? with swift swim, way. to be completely honest. I don't know if anyone else has felt that way. All right. Here's cure blight disease on self. Easy buy. Um, uh, restore, restore, soul trap, spell, turn undead. Uh, more spells. Man, they got a lot of spells here. Holy crap. Drain, 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 damage. I guess drain fatigue. Drain fatigue. Should do absorb fatigue because I didn't take destruction. I did take mysticism. So I should actually uh, go to the Cal uh, Sadruth Mora Imperial Shrine and buy it there Let's instead. It. I think What's I will do that. that? That red light scumed in. <laughs> It'll it gets the best of all of us Once eventually. Those dang cats, too much. A Varden fella, yeah. <laughs> that is a pretty good term. I like that. The Varden fellas heading down with the the Varden fellas getting down with the Varden fellas. It's got a nice ring to it. it. Sounds a lot better than Varden Fellites. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Look, how about Morrowinders? <laughs> Although if you're not on the island, what are you? No, the island is Vardenfell. The province is Morrowind. Yeah, so I guess, well, Morrowinders is only, they're all, all Varden fellas. They are not all Morrowinders. Down with the blight. Do, 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 do. No, they are all they are all Marwenders. They are not all Varden fellas. I had it backwards. The and wanderers. <laughs> Look at this high octane action right here. Punching a cliff racer to death. Something everybody wishes they could do. Something Jub has done countless times. Land! Land, you devil! Land a hit! Scratch! Scratch him to death! Claw him to death! Okay. All right. There we go. Whew. All right. I'm going to get back to Aldrun. Ugh. I see the bug shells in the distance. Dude, character is kind of getting swole, Shadow. You're right. We're at uh, 68 hand-to-hand. -hand. We're, we're kind of swole. Cliff Racer sounds are my ringtone. <laughs> That's, that'll make you pick up the phone quick. Fuck, dear God, turn it off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Make it be quiet. Yes, friend. Yes, friend. I guess I can call you that. <laughs> That's hysterical. Level seven. I am rejecting that level up. Man, we're already uh, level seven. Jeez. 
We are just cranking out levels tonight. What What is going on? It's all this punching. <laughs> all this punching and cohorting. All right, we're back in Caldera. What's this we'll pick up with the rest of the mine next time. This has been a good play test. Uh, feeling good. Got some good direction here on uh, a lot of my ideas for the hand-to-hand -hand guide. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Th I'm going to sign off here. Yeah. It's getting a little late on uh, my side of the old globe. Clawing our way to the top. That is exactly right. We will get there soon enough. Just you wait. Uh, but thanks for stopping by, everyone. Had a lot of fun. That was a good stream. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We got Shania, uh, the Shaolin monk. <laughs> Artie's level 6, 68 hand-to-hand, -hand, starting from the humble level of 1. Look at this. We're already kicking and screaming. 60 int, 63 willpower, 75 speed, 68 hand-to-hand, -hand, and 55 unarmored. Shania is looking good. Shania is looking good. 12 for me. Sleep well. Very, very nice. It was nice to meet. Talk to all and chill. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. And as always, I've been the Coffee Nut. You have been yourself. And I will catch you on the next one. Adios.